So today we are going to talk about my four favorite rackets when it comes to delivering wicked spin. Now this isn't going to be your average list full of the marketing classics like the arrows and the v cores of the world. These are rackets that I've tried and tested on the court and have experienced that they don't only deliver great spin all around, but they're also really good rackets from top to bottom. When I'm looking for rackets that deliver great spin, maneuverability is at the top of my list. I need to be able to have a very high swing speed, but I also want to have a pretty solid swing weight. So I want that balance of great maneuverability, but above average swing weight for that weight class. The last thing I'm looking for is good predictability out of the string bed. Just a crazy open pattern doesn't cut it for me. I need good levels of control if I'm going to take advantage of that maneuverability and really swing as hard as I can. So the first up on this list is going to be the easiest racket to use, and that is the Gravity MP. So why do I love the Gravity MP when it comes to spin? Well, the first thing is that spin window is super wide, meaning the crosses are really long and the beam is relatively relatively thin, so it's really easy to take a super vertical swing. It also features a 16 by 20 string pattern, which is medium tight. That gives me plenty of confidence to rip up the back of the ball super hard and delivering a lot of top spin, but also gives me that predictability I need if I'm going to take full swings on my backhand slice. My backhand slice is pretty crappy, but it felt very confident when I was using the Gravity MP. It takes really well to shaped strings if you want to get that couple extra RPMs out of your game and it feels really stable and holds up surprisingly well against big hitters considering that pretty measly 295 gram weight. Now that 295 gram weight is pretty light and that's what also contributes to outstanding maneuverability considering the decent swing weight this racket offers so you can swing it even faster than a lot of the 300 gram rackets. I feel like I'm definitely getting a lot more racket head speed out of the Gravity MP than I am with some of the more spin marketed 100 square inch rackets like the Pure Arrow or the V-Core 100. So one step towards more advanced players is going to be the V-Core 98. I think the V-Core 98 is one of the best spin friendly 98s, especially when we're looking at 98s in stock form. That higher swing weight is definitely going to get you higher RPMs than when we compare it to its brother, the Ezo 98. I also like it a lot better than like the Pure Strike 98 because the Pure Strike 98 has that really stable twist weight, which for me kind of hurts the maneuverability and counterbalances. Yeah, maybe it has better stiffness and better energy return, but my racket head speed just isn't quite as high, and I don't feel like I can take that more vertical swing, which is the thing that really is going to deliver a lot of spin for you. With the V-Core 98, I could really take an aggressive, steep angled swing to get a lot of top spin. One thing that I have mixed feelings about with this racket is the string patterns. It's a little bit tighter than the Pure Strike 16x19 once again, um, which really helps me take big confident swings, but it's a little bit more open than I would actually like, and sometimes the ball was flying on me, so I didn't feel like I could take maximum attack swings at all times. But that said, my average ball with this one was definitely pretty high in terms of top spin, especially for a racket stock at that 305 weight. Now one step up is my personal racket, my favorite racket on the market right now, and that's the Head Extreme Tour. I've talked a lot about why I think this is a great racket. In stock form, it's definitely not the spin monster it could be. Stock definitely is going to produce less spin than that V-Core 98 is. But once you add some lead at 12 o'clock, beefing up that swing weight a little bit, it is a really powerful tool. It has a pretty dense 16 by 19 string pattern, so right in the center of the string bed, you're getting unreal predictability and supreme directional control, which means that I can take big ripping swings at every ball. It also means slices are really confidence inspiring because you know you're not gonna float it up with too much 
regularity. Towards the outside of the string bed, it's a little bit more open, which gives great forgiveness on those off-center shots and still helps you generate a little bit of spin when you haven't hit it super cleanly. Now the last racket on this list is definitely a bit of a sleeper racket. A lot of people are not looking at this one for big spin. Hint, it's a 95 square inch racket, but it is not the V-Core 95 you think it is. It's what's now called the Prestige Tour, previously called the Prestige Pro. This racket is stiffer than you'd expect a lot of the modern Prestiges to be, and the swing weight is really high. Close to 340 strung, this thing delivers a pretty big punch. Top spin balls come really easily to this racket. It's super maneuverable and swings really quickly, but that 95 square inch head gives you amazing predictability for the backhand knifing slices. This is a great stick if you're coming from like a 6195 and your rackets are a little bit banged up or you're looking for something that's more control oriented, but isn't like a total old school racket. It's got a little bit of that modern flair, but is super viable for a 95 square inch racket. I really was surprised by it. So that's my list of my top four favorite spin friendly rackets. I couldn't make a top five because I just didn't think there's something that rounded up the list for me. I wasn't getting huge spin from the anything in the pure arrow line, including the VS. If you think I'm missing something, comment down below. 